Hey guys, Kevin Ward here at KevinNow.com. I was talking to two agents actually that have asked me this week about they're prospecting either for sell by owners or expireds and they're running into this objection. Uh, and that is, where is your office? Now, here's the situation. For those of you who prospect to an extent, uh, prospect over an extended uh, market area, just because of the market, maybe there's a lot fewer for sell by owners or a lot fewer expireds in your market right now. So you're actually extending how the areas where you're prospecting. So you're not just prospecting in your local community, but maybe in an adjoining community or you're in a, suburb, a suburban area in a major metropolitan area where you're marketing to or calling to multiple cities that are right there located, but they may be 15 minutes away or 30 minutes away. And for a lot of you, that is not an unusual thing. So. They, and so the seller asks, the prospect asks, so where's your office? Well, let's say that your office is 30 miles away and yet you're willing to go that far or 30 minutes away or whatever under certain circumstances. So that's, that's your, your hunting ground for, prospect, for prospecting expireds or NODs or for sell by owners or whatever. So here's what you have to understand. It's confidence and certainty that communicates to them whether or not you can help them get what they want. because. What they're looking for is they're looking for the right agent to help them get their home sold. So when they say, well, where's your office? Their mentality and a lot of sellers' mentality is still uh, is still local market. In other words, I want a neighborhood agent. I want a neighbor, an agent who knows my neighborhood. Now, we all know there is an advantage to that. But for those of you that are skilled at listing and pricing property correctly, at listing and selling property, you also know that an extended market area is only an inconvenience for you. It is not a necessarily a drawback in helping you sell uh, homes at a distance. Now, I know that there will be people probably watching this video right now who would want to argue with me and say, well, you can't tell me that you're going to be as good or effective when you're at a distance. Well, it depends because, see, the reality is if you take a great listing and you price it right and you stage it right and you make it easy to show, is it hard to sell, yes or no? And the answer to that is obviously no. you got to make sure if you have a buyer call on it and somebody wants to see it, you need to show it that either you or somebody on your team or somebody that is, is in that specific uh, nearby can show it for you so that you're representing your seller's best interest. That is all a given. But that being the case, if you know how to go in there and be strong in, in your listing presentation, price it right, make sure it's staged well and shows good and shows easily, the reality is it doesn't matter whether you're two minutes from their house or 30 minutes from their house. You can do that. I built my business with prospecting for sell by owners and expireds because I moved to a new city and I didn't know anybody. And my first listing was over 30 minutes from my office. I listed it, I sold it, I sold it for full price and closed on it. And it was, in fact, I double ended it. That's a, it, does it. It didn't matter to the sellers then, it doesn't matter to sellers today. What matters to them is they feel comfortable and confident that you're going to represent their best interest. And so here's, so the question then is how do you communicate with them? So I want to just kind of give you a couple of scripts or a couple of things you can say when they say, well, where's your office? Now there's a couple of ways you can handle this and I've done it with many different, so I'm going to give you several here real quickly and you can just write them down uh, and you can watch this video a couple of times and and play with it. So they say, well, where's your office? You know, it's a, that's a great question. And usually my office is in my car because I seem to spend so much time there. Uh, but I sell houses all over this area, including your community here in, you know, Beagleville or whatever the market, whatever city it is. That's one answer that's real simple. Now, let's say they say, well, where's your office? Now, they're asking because now caller ID may be showing a different area code or whatever. And they say, well, I noticed you're calling from a 310 area code. Where's your office? That's a great question. My office is in Hermosa Beach. Now, your, your, uh, your property's in Long Beach, right? Great. Well, I'm looking for a local agent. Now, you'll hear, well, that's what you'll hear. It doesn't matter if you acknowledge that your office is in a different location if you know what to say. So they ask, well, where's your office? Well, my office is actually in, or you say, well, <clears throat> usually it's my car. Well, where's your, I mean, where's your actual, where do you, where's your physical office? Well, my office is in, you know, Beagleville, and you're in, you know, Huntsville or whatever. Um, and that's 30 minutes away. Well, I'm looking for a local agent. Okay, and I understand that you're wanting somebody that knows the market and so forth. So let me ask you a question. Is it more important to you that you have an agent who lives in the neighborhood or that you have an agent that knows how to get your home sold for top dollar? Well, obviously, I need to sell somebody that knows how to get the home sold for top dollar. Exactly. Now, if you're looking for the agent that lives closest to your property, I'm probably not the agent for you, but if you're looking for the agent that can get the property sold 
for top dollar in the best amount of time with the least amount of hassle, then you and I definitely have something to talk about. So, and then I would just go on with the script. So in house sales, where are you going next? Or I would go, if you've already gone through the, the, the conversation, you know their motivation and they're definitely motivated, you just go for the appointment. So if, you know, if you're looking for the agent that lives closest to your house, you know, I'm probably not going to be the best agent for the job. But if you're looking for the agent that can get your property sold in the best amount of time for top dollar with the least amount of hassle, then you and I definitely have something to talk about. So I could actually drop by this afternoon around 4 or would tomorrow around 2 be better? And that's how you do it. And here's, remember, it, whenever your objections are, ref, are questions where they're trying to identify, do I believe you can really help me or not? And they're asking questions to try to eliminate you. They're looking for, all I need to do is ask a question that stumps that agent and I can get rid of them, get them out of my life, don't ever have to think about it again. But what they really want is the agent they can't stomp, that the agent that knows what they're doing, knows how to handle everything, and is totally comfortable and confident that they're the right agent for the job. Now, if you're prospecting outside of your market area or an extended market area, you know this is going to come up. You've got to be prepared here to handle that objection. And if it bothers you that you're calling somebody 30 miles away or 30 minutes away or whatever, it's going to be an issue for them when they ask because it's an issue for you. If it's not an issue for you and you're totally comfortable and confident or you've sold some houses over there, which is another great answer. You know, and they say, you know, well, where's your office? Well, my office is in, you know, X city, but I've actually sold several homes this year in your city. And that in itself can bridge the gap. So there's a lot of different ways to bridge it, either with a joke of saying, you know, well, I mean, typically my office is actually my car because I spend so much time in it and it's very regional that I work in your, but I definitely work in your market area. Or it can be, you know, are you looking for somebody that lives close to your house or are you looking for somebody that knows how to get your property sold for top dollar? Okay, now watch this. If it's an expired listing and they were expired listed previously with a local agent, you know, what does that prove? It improves that it proves that having a local agent, local close by, doesn't necessarily mean it's the right agent to get the job done. So the key is that you never make them wrong. The key is you make yourself the right person for the job.